Ervin, <laughs> congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. You have just won your last round game uh, against Jakub Spreadschatz. Maybe a word before we talk about your game. There is so much going on right now. It's been a huge day so far for the Dutch players here. And each won his game. You won his game. What do you think? Is Jordan winning his game? It looks like he's completely winning. Uh, but I don't want to jinx anything, uh, obviously. Um, yeah, as for big day for Dutch people, I think it was mostly for Anish a big day. <laughs> and I was just trying to uh, to finish my tournament, basically. <laughs> and uh, it even ended with a win. Miraculously. Yeah, yeah, tell us a little bit about that game. Um, yeah, it was interesting. I thought I had a fine position after the opening. At some point, he exchanged bishop for knight on c5. And it was interesting strategic um, position. Um, one where I thought I was doing okay. But then, um, well, after, after a few exchanges, I made a few natural looking moves. But I didn't quite like the position I was getting. And I think I was actually busted completely at some point. But then I, well, it happens every day. So it's, uh, it's uh, I was fine with, with how things went. And uh, miraculously in time trouble, it all fell my my, uh, my, my, my way. And I could, uh, well, he allowed me to do a second exchange, short, some, some sacrifice and uh, suddenly it all broke miracles. Yeah, yeah, just one of those days, yeah. With that, you end the tournament on 50%. How do you ref reflect? I was constantly fighting with this uh, 50%. And um, I didn't expect it, to be honest. I mean, uh, I played the Zeitschef today. He repeated once. I was ready to to repeat twice if needed or three times. Um, but that, the that didn't happen. The Giri family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, his kids are here as well. So it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, uh, I, I lost track of what I was saying, um, but yeah. Uh, what does it mean you've been uh, working, you've been one of uh, Anish's long-term seconds. What does this day, you know, it's not over yet, Let's. but what does it mean to you to see him so close to running this? Night? Yeah, it's great, of course. I mean, to be honest, I thought this year, uh, I, I was expecting it less than previous. Even when he was in the lead all the time, I was up to of us looking so so good all the time. Um, and then somehow, when you least expect it, it suddenly it suddenly uh, seems to uh, happen. Uh, so yes, yeah, for Dutch chess, it's fantastic. Uh, obviously, yeah. We did it at some point. I mean, Timman won it in '85, I think. Yes. Everybody mentioned it. Then Jordan won, and now it looks like <laughs> Dutch guy will win every two two years. So it's uh, it's good news. Fantastic, they're on the road. Ervin, a uh, final question. What is next for you after Tata Steam? Uh, no chess for a while, I think. Uh, I'm working at the Max Oe Center these days, so shout out to the Max Oe Center. Uh, and uh, I'll play Bundesliga with, 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 with Luke, who is The happily. disruptor of the interview. Uh, yeah, the driver. The driver. <laughs> <laughs> Driving force as well, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, those, those things uh, are coming up and um, We'll do some work with Anish as well. These things always uh, progress. Yeah. Ervin, it's been a, an absolute pleasure. Yeah, it's great here. to play here again. Yeah. And uh, best of luck in all your future events. Thank you. Thank you.